Go back to Grass Jam temporarily. What's happening here? What the fuck is this doing here? Let's throw this shit away. Oh my god, we have a fucking tombstone here now? Can't think of anything less inviting. Are those avatars all players? Yeah, these are all real people. Most uh, from the stream. I couldn't have made this without everybody. Everybody contributed real amounts of dollars that they worked hard for to make this possible. Alright, let me read you a fanfic about about the, the, the Great Jam War. Rusty Shackelford's Grass Assassination. This story is based on true events and might eventually occur. It's 10 a.m. on a day that should be like any other day. Rusty Shackelford sits in his DX Racer chair, ready to begin his shift at Jams for Money. He types in his login and is soon greeted by the soothing music of The Sims Online City Overview. It's a sound he enjoys and a game he enjoys even more. His property has enjoyed its week-long tenure as the number one ranked money lot in the game, and its placement fills him with pride. But today, a remarkable change has occurred. He navigates his way to the ranking list and scans the window for his property. It is ranked number two. A new property, Grass Jam, has taken the top spot. He jumps from his chair, his mouth agape. He begins to pace about the room. Grass Jam, I've never seen this place in my life. How could it already be number one? He notices he is sweating profusely and his shirt is drenched. He removes it and puts on another. He sits back in his chair, attempting to compose himself. I might as well check the place out. Rusty joins the lot and is awestruck by its beauty. An ivory-coated mansion meets his eyeline, and he can't help but follow the path into its courtyard. There he finds 23 men working, each at their own jam station, separated only by finely trimmed hedges. Wow, jams for money looks nothing like this masterpiece. He notices he is sweat through another shirt. He removes this one as well and puts on another. Oh man, I'm almost out of shirts. He looks back to his computer screen. Two bears are making out beside him. Wow, those two are so in love. I'll never experience a connection as strong as theirs. He sweat through another shirt. He takes it off only to find he has no shirts left. I guess I have to stay shirtless. A series of loud thumps sound from uh, the front door. Before Rusty can think, the door swings open, struck by the large boot of a masked FBI agent. Rusty Shackelford? He says, we know about jams for money. We know it's a money laundering scheme for the Fratelli uh, crime family. You're under arrest. No, he yells, don't arrest me. Arrest the guys from Grass Jam. They're clearly cheating somehow. The agent laughs. Don't you get it? He reaches up to his mask and removes it. It is Charles, the owner of Grass Jam. Jam. The grass men do not cheat. We represent all that is good in this world. It's scumbags like you who try and game the system. Who <laughs> rot in jail. No, Rusty says. I'll shut down Jams for money. I'll join the grass men. Ah, you think anyone can just join? You're chosen, kid. Don't worry, we won't lock you up right away. We'll let, uh, Narasan decide what to do with you. Good luck, she's not merciful. And put a goddamn shirt on. Charles slaps the handcuffs around Rusty's wrists. A week later, he receives his, uh, his sentence. Life in grass jail. Grass Jam occupies the number one slot for 500 years until it is finally dethroned by Grass Jam 2, another Grassman property. Thank you, everybody. I worked very hard on that. Or whoever wrote that worked very hard on that. The buffet tables aren't working. Get off this thing! You goddamn Santa ass motherfucker. Fucking smothering this buffet. Alright, it's working. This is what- I, I come home after a hard day at work, and I'm just bombarded with requests. Charlie, do this. Charlie, do that. Not your- I'm not your patsy, guys. I worked hard today. Did you see how many people I slandered and asked about their pony? <laughs> I worked very hard. Oh my god, big riches place. I just want to take a bulldozer to this goddamn place. I'm gonna make an alt. Hold on, let me see. This is my jam right here. 
I need to make a guy that people will fear. <laughs> this is pretty good. That's a good look. This guy looks like his face is just like being swallowed. It's like a whirlpool. I need to be an old man. This will do. But like a cool old man. The one that like still cares about fashion and stuff and he's like, Hey kids, you need to know any things about being wise? How about wise man? Was this a person who sucks? Oh, that's a moderator. <laughs> <laughs> that person's great. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Vicky. I didn't know who you were. Here. Nice to meet you. Here. Shake my hand. I'm just... I, I, I just didn't... I didn't know... I didn't know your lore. I didn't know your backstory. But you denied my hug, which honestly... I'm beginning to think the rumors are true. I'm, be, I'm beginning to think there might be some truth to what I've heard around town. What the hell happened here? Was this you? Who? And you pissed on my- Oh my god, we just got this lot. Oh my god. Now accept my hug, Vicky. We need to get this- We need to get off on the right foot here. I'll even hug you when you're soaked in piss. Oh god. Alright, there we go. Alright, I gotta get my needs up. Let's go to the lodge. There's a bear there. Let me get these people to help me out. No, what? What is this? We're patronizing this guy's business? He's like, get the fuck out of here! <laughs> what are you doing? Just trying to use your service a lot to fill our needs. <laughs> This guy's going off. <laughs> you said to shit up the joint just to piss of the landlord. You okay? You ever hear the screams of a man looking for his penis? His penis? His pens? I like pens better than penis in this case. I ever tell you boys the story of Loose Louie and his Snake King boys? Well, you don't get to hear it because of your rudeness. <laughs> this guy's the shit. I'm bookmarking this dude. I went to make jam at a random lot and they're talking about you like some kind of criminal? What lot? I, I think I've ruined my reputation in this game. My poor old mind can't handle the stress of the modern world. It better go back to a simple time like 2000. I feel you. You ever meet a man in his garage playing the trumpet? No. <laughs> Smartest man I've ever met. Knew how to play the trumpet. Do <laughs> not sing out your siren song. You banshee leave my sight. This is very sad. The situation here. I came here to get my social up, and I found a man at the end of his rope. Who has the uh, spotlight? I just need someone to make me food. I'm an old man. Need help. Two chicks! Sweet! Two chicks, one guy. Oh, sweet! No, no. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's the opposite effect. She's calling the cops, dude. Hey, Chons. <laughs> hey, Chons. May I please have some food? I'm just gonna go brush my teeth in the room. Chons doesn't give a shit about me. Her turn ons are men Dio Torrent. No? Her turn offs are bad hygiene. Alright, so me brushing my teeth in a room is gonna be a major turn on. Why not? You have 250k, why are you beg? Well, you gotta beg. I'm trying to sleep. Oh! <laughs> it's Vicky again. What? <laughs> there is no abuse! Can you cook me some food? Oh, damn. Vicky wild. Vicky stanky and wild. Oh, hell yeah, she's gonna cook for me. <laughs> this is... 
woman has to be so confused. She's sleeping in her poverty bed while an admin makes food out of her kitchen. <laughs> Have you ever been sleeping at night and an old man comes and sleeps in your roommate's bed while the president of the United States cooks food in your uh, in your kitchen? Chance, <laughs> this is only temporary. You're free to eat with us. Oh god, where am I going? Damn it, I just wanted to share a nice meal with Vicky. <laughs> I guess the wise man just needs to be alone with his thoughts. Wow, she's really in the zone. I'll pay you for it. This is some good ass food. Actually, it's just okay, but don't tell Vicky. Let me pay her. She's been sleeping so long. Wake up so I can pay you. I want to pay you for the inconvenience. I'm trying to be, I'm trying to do the right thing here. Oh, wow. She actually got up. Here's a dollar. Go get yourself something to eat. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> wise man. Peace. We out. What was she doing? Be kicked out? Nope, too late. Cunt! Wow! Uncalled for. And he was wise. Get some REM sleep. No! <laughs> Just want some REM sleep. <laughs> oh man. What's over here? Crazy Cat Lady Resort. Oh, she's loving the computer. <laughs> Alright, this is the best way to do it. Alright, shh. Don't tell, don't tell anybody. This is good. I need to take a nap. What happened? Doing well. Try again. What? Wow, she's really nice. Yeah, I gotta tell you that. Kids these days are addicted to screens. We need to reconnect with nature. Uh, let's spice this up. My, uh, my use of language has degraded so much, just instantly. Alright, she's not doing it for me anymore. Oh, jams and pizza, I don't need to go there. I do not fraternize with the competitor. Last time I did that, they got a quote out of me that... I can't, I can't quite endorse. They don't still have that quote, do they? Hold on. They, they took it out. Typical, typical Murder Hill Science Lab. This guy's got a grass computer? Dude, I'm so Tell jealous. Me, Eat his food. Fuck you, dude. I wanted to learn science. I'm about to fire some major shots here. We're at Creativity Garden. More like creativity Barton because this place stinks much like farts. Sorry, that was rude. Oh. 
Oh, is she kicking me out? Don't. Oh, please don't tell me. Oh, she's sick. She's serenading me. A spotlight. Oh, it's, oh, it's jams for money. Typical. Of course they need a spotlight. Are you kidding me? First they steal our golden toilets. Now they're turning on a goddamn spotlight. What's the grass jams population right now? 24. No spot. That's... You see? This is what happens. <laughs> Rusty Shackleford, more like Busty Shackleford because he has breasts. <laughs> I don't know. That's good. It, it was good.